In the laboratory, it is possible to dispense with part of the normal life cycle. Conidia are produced by a mycelium which is grown under sterile conditions from the sclerotia. A sclerotium is washed, surface sterilized and rinsed. Now soft enough to cut easily, sections are placed on a nutrient medium in petri dishes. After suitable incubation, a mycelium begins to grow. Numerous subcultures are prepared. First, on slopes in test tubes. Then later, in Thompson bottles. The conidia are dislodged from the final culture by shaking with glass balls in water. A suspension of spores is thus prepared and is removed by suction. Pure cane sugar is added to make a 50% solution. This fluid is maintained at a low temperature to retard germination of the spores. A trial dilution is prepared to determine the concentration of spores. A counting chamber is used for this purpose. Here, through a microscope, we see the appearance of the conidia. By counting the spores and a known number of the cells of the counting chamber, the concentration in the original suspension can be calculated. In the field, the stock suspension is diluted according to the calculations made in the laboratory. There are various ways of infecting the ears of rye with the inoculum, but this one gives a high percentage of satisfactory results. Each worker has a felt pad which he dips into his suspension of spores. He claps the ears between the felt pad and a clapper set with needles. The spore suspension is thus forced into the right tissues through holes made by the needles. At a later date, the ears missed by the clapping technique are infected with spores obtained from the developing honeydew. Under natural conditions, this operation is performed by insects and is therefore unpredictable. And so man aids nature in ensuring completion of the task. Using brushes with nylon bristles, the worker sweeps the honeydew from plant to plant. His protective clothing is necessary because of the sticky nature of the honeydew. These techniques achieve two objects. They enable known strains of ergot to be perpetuated and they ensure a heavy and satisfactory crop. <laughs>